it is Souls here, and we're back with another part of Back to the Future, the game. The key to our current problem is Biff. It really is. So we're just going to look at our inventory, and we're going to try. Try this on the door. I can't plug my guitar into that. No? Okay. Um, that was that. Let's try... Dad? Dad? I don't think a picture of my dad would be useful here. Like, there's nothing else I can pick up. I've looked, guys, everywhere in the last part. So we're just going to use everything. Oh! Okay, so the newspaper's under the door. Let's do the intercom. Beep, beep. Hi, Biff. Hi, Biff. Did his hand just, like, go through the door? Hi, Biff. Just swallow your pill. Swallow your pill. We having good times here, guys. That guard's getting pill via Biff slobber. Okay, let's grab the newspaper. Yay, it works! Oh, Biff spit. That was my reaction, too. So, what we need to do is put this pill in dude's drink. Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Yeah, it is. Uh, sorry, it was just a shadow. Stop goofing around and get back to work. Yes, sir. Just a shadow. Alrighty, so that worked. Drink! Drink! Is he gonna pass out? Come on, pass out. Yes, yes, yes. Jeez, what have they been feeding Biff? Horse tranquilizers? Well, you know, he's dangerous. No, not. Ooh, me? I, I mean... Yes! Me? Yes, you! As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Oh, you know uh, I will, Edna. Sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? I'm sorry about the Rescue Brown, Citizen Brown from Citizen Plus Procedure. Alright, so we need to control the panels. Control panel. I have Jeez. no idea what these do. Where's the off button on this thing? Optics. Maybe an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. Uh, switches. Are you having problems? Optics. Whoa! That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay, okay. The other one had a lot, um, volume. worse Find results. A word I can understand. Volume. Oh. That moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Oh! Tactile. Kyle. Tactile slider. Oh shit! Oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that one, Marty. Don't do that one. Um, gastro sensory slider, olfactory. His smell. I know what that means. Smell right. Do 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 do. What the? Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, <laughs> make yourself useful. Sarcasm, Edna? Sarcasm? I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This would go a lot easier if uh -huh. you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. You won't think that in a few more hours. Yes, you will. Gastrosensory. Oh, we're going to make him vomit. Did we do everything? Oh, dear. Um. Olfactory. It's jammed. Uh, gastrosensory? 
I am not doing that again. Where's Martin? Where's Martin? Can I, like, plug in my guitar? Use... I can't plug my guitar into that. Why not? I think you can. Let's try that again. Is it going to work at all? I guess the speakers won't push them any further until I hook it up to a really big sound. Oh dear, um, how do we hook up the control. speakers? That's why you needed me in the first place. Control panel. Speakers. Guitar. Use. I can't plug my guitar into that. Why not? Let's go in here. Because we weren't allowed in here before. Oh, 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 I see it. I see it. Guitar. Use. You'll never get away with this. I've gotten away. Yes, yes. I think I've done it right, guys. I think I did it right. Marty, you might want to hold on tight. Okay, and keep strumming. Less dramatic than I'd expected. Why don't you just push it? Look how much more effective that was. To rescue! Yes. Let's go, Your Honor. I can't hear you. You're welcome. I can't hear you. You're welcome. Oh, Edna, you're the thumbnail right there. Perfect. Picture perfect. Oh. Uh oh. Have a nice day. Right. Are we hiding in the garbage bins? We are. What do we do now? What do we do now? Are we waiting for the glass to clear out so we can make a break for the time machine? Where is it? Hey, it's my mom. Hey, don't talk to her. She can give us away. Where is the DeLorean there anyway? Is the DeLorean anyway. I have the red coat to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why, if that's efficient. Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. Well, yes. what was Edna doing what to was you? Edna doing you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Mom. All right, Dad. Why'd you marry Edna no anyway? Offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? Yeah, She's yeah. Tell me all the deeds. Easy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. Or at least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Hmm. Uh oh. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Right, so we need to make like a... The coast is clear. 
You could be a citizen plus. Don't fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without your body. Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. Don't worry. Things will come hmm. plan you won't even notice my plot. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. Oh dear, oh dear, this isn't gonna go well. What am I supposed to do? Or are we gonna become the Doc? Good luck, Your Honor. Who are we playing as? You might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Because he's gonna fix Emmett? it and appear like, boom. Wait for Citizen Brown to repair the DeLorean. Uh, he's not coming back, you know. What are you talking about, Emmett? Without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable right. failure who never finished anything. Yes, but he with was. Me to inspire him. Look at what we've built. It's creepy. You inspired him. He's capable of doing great you things without you. Doc? How have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time traveling DeLorean and a flying time train? Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a flying time train. Me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that too. Doc's real life is much cooler I'm than the you only are. the inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Yeah. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so no, he doesn't. easily distracted. You inspired him to do bad You've things. You inspired him, all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect uptight a dorks. delinquent <laughs> like him to understand. Right? Right? What can we know, Edna? Okay, Your Honor. I'm starting to get a little concerned here. Yeah, go Doc. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months? My family fortune had a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Not from you. Now you're exhausted, poor dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't. <laughs> How long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I sent the repair time service to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, I'm sure there's no need. Oh, sure. no. It's the finest collaboration of the time service. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Edna. I feel kind of bad for her. I run this town. The town's gonna cease to exist, baby. Prepare to stop. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me Doc. Call me Doc. He's so straight faced. He does this every day, guys. So here's the catch. The miscalculation, right, guys? That's where the problems could be. Because you know nothing's going to go smoothly, right? Like, that would just make it, like, too easy. Right. We're in town. I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Luckily, my first small wife was never the time. Yeah, yeah. 
Unless you messed up the time. Uh huh. What about it? What about it? I haven't thought about this place in years. This is maybe turned out in 1971. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all uh -huh. nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here with them by you, but they never turned me into a hooter. Say, I'm a public enemy. I, you dirty rat, a pretty yellow belly in school. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What you're going to? That's the problem. That's the whole problem, remember? We've got to get young you to see Frankenstein. Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspire me with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Uh, how could I? Uh huh. Uh huh. You erased yourself. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain. Having lived in it for the past seventy plus years, once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract it from this proper. Great stop! Will you look at that? Town Square. It's just like I remember it. Only dirtier. Only. Dear, dear. Come on now, Doc. You need to go inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc. Never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions of billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Right, you have to go talk to young Emmett. We're gonna run. I figured it out, guys. Running in the streets. Hey! Harry! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Uh, in the dystopia created. In a mental reconditioning well, you prison. Know, here and there, <laughs> you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Yeah. Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually mm -hmm, thought Edna mm -hmm. and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Forget it, it. Trust that first impression. Yeah, well... Sometimes first impressions are right. You know. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... But as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Mm -hmm. Boy, are you out of date. I've junked a rocket car. But more trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, social utility is practically non-existent. Oh no! You have to... Don't give up on the rocket car. You just need an epiphany. Let's figure it out, Emmett. You only need a bolt of inspiration, that's all. Let's go Maybe watch Frankenstein. A, the mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea. And she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, oh dear. I'm a little confused here. Uh, we... You've only had one date. It's only been one day. Okay, is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around. We came to the wrong day. We came to the wrong day. Doc? Okay, we need to go back to the courthouse and find other Doc. But you know what, guys? We can do that all in the next part. Thank you so much for watching this part of Back to the Future, Episode 4. I'm so happy we made it out of the Citizen Plus program. Um, in the next part, we're going to hopefully figure out if we can get back in time or not. Anyway, guys, if you liked it. It is a bit risky for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start. Uh -oh. Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. Oh, do Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. Oh, it's far too risky. 
remember how I was late picking him up in 86. Yeah. That should have been a tip off. Uh -huh. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits. The problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we can find ourselves stranded in the Cenozoic Age. Ooh, or worse, the Mesozoic. And we're stuck? For the time being, I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. Uh oh. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other time. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of this. Awesome. Young me is already as infatuated as you say you're not going to be mm -hmm. talking about anything. Believe me, I remember. I need to focus on a more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna, where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. Woohoo! Great! Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this part of Back to the Future. Please give it a great big thumbs up. Comments go down below. Give me a shout out on Twitter at Deidre Masseuse. And in the meantime, guys, please take care, stay happy, I love y'all, and I will see you all in the next video. Hopefully this isn't another cutscene. I'm, I'm trying, guys. I really, I'm trying. It looks like a cutscene. You were right. There she is. There she I is. I really have to talk to her. I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh, oh dear. I'll talk to her. You better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All car of the future contestants need to report to the North Kent! Why not? Good luck! Car of the future contestants. Right, guys, here we go. We got our DeLorean. We're off to see Edna, which is the last thing I want to do. Anyway, guys, I love y'all.